Okay, I'm going to show you how I use Crackle Medium. This is a decor, Americana Decor Crackle Medium. It's in a bigger tub, which I kind of like, because then I can dip my whole brush in it. And I just really have it on the tips, but I'm just going to kind of slip slap it on there. And it goes on clear, well, kind of milky, and then it does dry clear. But here I just kind of, like I said, slip slap it on, try not to overwork it. And that's pretty much it. I don't want it too thick because I don't want it to crackle too much. And then I will let that dry and we'll come back and put the paint coat on. Now I have some DecoArt Snow Titanium White, a little puddle. I probably will need more, but I'm just going to show you my technique. I have one of these little dollar store cheapy sponges, and I kind of roll it into a half ball. So it gives me a handle, but then this is the texture that, or surface, I'm going to dip in my paint, pounce in it, and then I'm just going to pounce it on. Be a little bit noisy, bouncing, but I'm just pouncing it on the surface, and then I'll get some more. I should have had a bigger puddle out here. Fill my sponge, and then I pounce it on. And what this does is, instead of having crackles just going in line with a paintbrush strokes, this will give an overall um, crackle, a finer crackle, than if you did the paintbrush. I've also done this, and I like doing it with a sponge roller, but I didn't have a sponge roller, and this works good too. Now you don't want to overwork it because you can pull your paint back up. And um, this doesn't have thick coverage. You can see opaque coverage. But that's okay. This is just a texture I'm going to be using. This isn't going to be the actual background of my painting. I'm going to paint on a background. I just want to get the crackle finish. I'm pressing a little harder now. Getting all the paint out of my sponge. Pouring more. Let me see if I see. No, it's not going to pick it up. Good. So just getting it all on there, and then that should crackle as it dries. This is the bench that I'm going to paint roses on. Um, it has this little, I call it a sweetheart motif on it, and I have it base painted. There's an undercoat of white. And then I have this color of Americana Deco Decor Chalky Finish Paint, and it is called Primitive. Then I slip slapped on the way I do the crackle finish with my paintbrush. I have a video on it that I will um, link to, and it shows how I apply the crackle finish, which it's the same Deco Art Americana crackle finish. And I just take my brush and I just slip slap it on there so it doesn't have just the paintbrush going like this. In my video on how I, I apply crackle finish, I show you doing the top coat with a sponge. And on this one, I'm going to use the paintbrush. And um, I'll go get that paintbrush and come back and we'll get started. Now I'm gonna load, this is the chalky finish paint in the color Everlasting, which is basically white. And I'm just dipping my brush in and I'm just gonna go along and paint it on. Try not to overwork it because um, the crackle will lift and um, leave big gashes of showing underneath. And you just keep working it on there. You can already see it here. Um, see how I just ripped off some of that paint? I'm not working fast enough. Um, so a lot of times I like to use the sponge. I should have worked in that one area before going along to the further side. Now since I'm painting roses on top, I'm not real worried about some of the missing spots because I could paint a leaf on it or it's just extra, um, 
distressed in those spots. And right there is where I had gash, but that's okay. I'm going to put roses there. So that is another way that I do crackling. And let me see if I can... Well, there's a little spot there. I wasn't, didn't like how thick it was, but it's easier to work in smaller sections. And I'll try to zoom in and refocus and see if you can see the crackling that's occurring all over that. Some spots, because I slip slap it on there, they don't have crackle medium, and that's just showing there that it's not on there. But that's um, how I want it many times. I don't want the whole thing crackled. I just want certain spots crackled. Okay, I'll let this dry, and then I'll come back and start painting on my roses. <laughs> 